Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I am Drew Martin, joined by Andy Lang and Andrew McGinnis of wagertalk.com. We're talking NFL Sunday action here in the NFC North. We get the Green Bay Packers at the Chicago Bears. We're seeing the Packers minus four and a half here, Andy, and a total of 46 getting bought down to 45 right now. Soldier Field on Sunday. You liking anything Packers and Bears, Andy? Yeah, I do. And I actually kind of like uh, both of these teams from a betting standpoint because I think they're becoming predictable, and that's what we like. Uh, I really like what the Bears did last week. Fields gets the start. They were without Montgomery in the backfield, and they still rushed the ball 37 times for 143 yards and a touchdown. So credit to them. Fields, no turnovers. They held the ball for over four minutes longer than the Raiders. Uh but that's just two straight wins over lesser quality opponents. And what I'm seeing from the Bears is a lower ceiling. Uh, they have wins against the Bengals, Lions, Raiders, losses to the Rams and Browns. So I think then when they have a step up in competition, uh, they're just too limited right now, especially with Justin Fields and his uh, you know slower progression. Um, Packers, I think they can pick their method of attack now. They can run, they can pass, they can do a little bit of both. Last week, they threw for 39 times and rushed for 22 in a win. Against the Lions, they threw 27 times and rushed for 31 times in a win. And we have the Bears that are 12th in rush and pass defense. So when I look at this game, i got to look at the quality opponents that beat Chicago, the Browns and the Rams. And the similarity that they have is the Browns and Rams both got up early in the game and made the Bears play from behind. I think that's going to be uh, what Packers want to do. The Browns were up seven at halftime. The Rams were up six. I'm going to expect the Packers to want to get a, get off to a quick start and make Fields play from behind. The first half line is minus three. So I'm going to take the Packers minus three in the first half. They averaged 13.4 first half points. From a player prop perspective, I really like what I saw from Khalil Herbert. Over his rushing yards, I'm going to play. He had 18 carries last week. That was more than Damian Williams. No catches, so he got all of his touches on the ground. He had 17 uh, 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 75 yards on the ground and the Packers gave up over hundred yards rushing last week. So with this game, I'll take the Packers minus three in the first half and Khalil Herbert over his rushing total. I like it. Player prop and a first half bet there for you. We get his tough follow here. What are you liking in soldier field on Sunday? Well, it's a tough follow drew. Cause I'm also on the first half for the Packers. So, uh, I mean, it's easier said than done. It's easy enough right here. I can just agree with Andy. We can both take the Packers minus three and we can call it a video. Uh, but in all seriousness, I'll look at this game and uh, try and give it a little perspective, kind of a little bit different than Andy, and just kind of look at it from this perspective is the fact that no team averaging fewer total yards of offense per game than the Bears. But look, only the Dolphins and Jets are averaging fewer points per game. But I'm a Packers fan. I've made it very clear when doing videos and content with Wager Talk last week, went against them, said it would be a close game. I thought it would be really tight. Um, look, I think that when you look at what happened in last week's game, how sloppy of an ending that was. If you're a football fan, you were amused by it. If you had a bet on that game, you were probably ready to pull out your hair watching that game. Um, a lot of missed plays uh, from the Packers, especially late in the game. Then Mason Crosby has countless chances to win the game for them and fails to do so until the end of the game. So I'm isolated in the first half uh, for a lot of the same reasons, but also a lot of more uh, different reasons than Andy, and a lot of it's just situational. Um, when you win a game, when sometimes you might not feel like you deserve to win it, or you win it in kind of a disgraceful way, you want to make sure you come out to a really solid, strong start. And I feel like the Bears, uh, once they once they see a team get off that hot start, it's hard for them to kind of crawl back in immediately. They'll have to make adjustments, go into halftime, and try and change things up. And I don't think they'll be able to do anything on the fly in the first half. So. I agree with Andy. I'm on the first half for the Packers minus the three. Good stuff from McGinnis and Andy Lang. Check them both out at wagertalk.com. Guys, also remember, Mondays, $9 Monday at wagertalk.com. Every play from every handicapper discounted to just $9. A great day to check out wagertalk.com.